Hey guys, welcome to Those Jockeys Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we're going to do a three part series on Yorkies 101. So, the first part that we're going to be doing today is tips on the Yorkie breeds and things you should know about the Yorkie breed. So, I, I want to say that this is an all inclusive dog channel, but for the next three videos, we are just going to be focusing on the Yorkie. So, the first thing that I think is important to look at when you're looking at purchasing a Yorkie is to know that they are hypoallergenic. So if you do have allergies or if you are worried about shedding, you don't have to worry about that with them. These dogs, they, they've never shed pretty much and their hair is the closest thing to human hair. So they're very much so good if you have any type of allergies, you don't have to worry about that. The next thing. Um, that you need to keep in mind is that Yorkies do have a longer lifespan. You know, the bigger the dog, it seems like the shorter the lifespan. With Yorkies, their lifespan is 13 to 16 years, so you really need to be ready to make a solid commitment because I've seen Yorkies live up to 18 years old. So that's a long time to have a contain, which is awesome because you get to have your best friend around for 18 years, possibly. Um, the next thing that you should be aware of is that they are great for apartment living. I had originally my three dogs, we lived in apartments and it was awesome because, you know, they only have to walk but so far. You get them around the block a couple times and they're tired. It's not like you have to let them run a mile or so before you wear them out. So apartment living is great for them. And these dogs love laying around. They like to chill and they like to relax and then they like to turn up and be crazy so you get the best of both worlds another thing to keep in mind when purchasing a Yorkie is that they are not fond of being alone like they hate when ugh, I feel so bad when I leave them they give me those eyes like don't leave us or whenever I sit down I always have at least three dogs or two or three dogs immediately on me and they sleep with me they are always pressed against my body they do not like being alone. So if you're going to be one of those type of pet parents that are constantly on the go or can never be home with your dog or Yorkie or any pet, it might not be that great. Maybe like a fish or something. But most dogs love the companionship because obviously we are their world. They love it. <laughs> so it's important to make sure that you um, make time for them, especially for a Yorkie. They can get really depressed if you're not home with them or if you're not giving them attention. The next thing that you want to keep in mind is that Yorkies are a generally, they're a pretty healthy breed. I have had Yorkies for about almost five years now and I haven't had any major issues with any of them. They're generally pretty healthy, though I have them on a preventative care plan with Banfield, which I had discussed in a previous video. I'll leave that in the cards. Um, but with the preventative care I've been able to like for instance um, for a little bit Marley's pancreas was a bit enlarged and we got the blood work we changed his diet and now he's good to go so they're generally a pretty healthy dog um, and they you know they stick around for a while like I said they have a long lifespan the next thing that we have is that Yorkies are very trainable Um, I took both Marley and Zoe to obedience class. I didn't take Bailey because I was pretty experienced with the obedience training, so I really didn't feel like I needed an instructor. But it would maybe I did because Bailey is the most spoiled dog I have, and she's not really that trained. <laughs> so I probably should have went in and spent those extra coins and took her to a training class just to be more disciplined on myself. But however, with Marley and Zoe, they are pretty well trained, and Yorkies are easy to train. You have a treat that grabs their attention, they'll do whatever you want. Especially my Marley. When it comes to his hot dogs, he'll sit, stay, go to bed, all that all that jazz. So they're just as easy to train as any other dog. Another thing to realize is that Yorkies have high energy. Though they can be extremely lazy sometimes, when they're up, they are up and they are bouncing off the wall. So you need to be prepared to be playing fetch for hours at a time or letting them run around or they just running through the house they're not going to be chill all the time so if you want a dog that's more laid back and chill 24 7 obviously Zoe is not showing her playful side right now 
she's showing her sleepy side which they do have but they also have that bounce off the walls play fetch for me for three hours side so you want to be prepared for that as well another thing to keep in mind is that your keys can be very high maintenance Because their hair is so thick because they have so much you really have to stay on top of bathing them you really have to stay on top of shaving um, their combing you have to, you really have to stay on top of combing them you have to stay on top of their sanitary cuts oh my god you have to because it will be bad and you not the last thing you want is dingleberries hanging off their fur so you definitely want to stay on top of that because it's nasty so you really have to make sure you're committed to all this hair it's cute but you have to make sure you're combing it so it's not getting matted up you have to make sure you give them their sanitary cuts and you have to make sure you're keeping it out of their eyes it's a lot it's cute and when you're on the outside when you're on the inside it's maintenance so keep that in mind when you are purchasing one of these sweet puppies obviously I'm very impartial to Yorkies I love them to death I think they are the best dog breed I love my dogs they're amazing so I would recommend a Yorkie to anybody honestly they're just an all-around very versatile perfect dog one thing to also make yourself aware of is things or diseases that Yorkies are prone to because you can sometimes feed them a vitamin or anything to assist with them not having any issues so one thing is they can have skin allergies so you want to make sure that you're not putting too much weird things uh, different things on their skin if you are going to dye them make sure you use a vegan vegetable based dye um, and just be gentle with their skin make sure you're using good quality shampoos on them because you don't want them to have any irritated skin or have any issues like that Another thing that's more prone to Yorkies is they can have certain eye issues. You can give them vitamins and things like that to help with that. And another thing is hypoglycemia, glycemia, which is low blood sugar. And that's very prone to Yorkies because they're so small, it can be hard for them to regulate their blood sugar, which is why I think I've mentioned in a few videos when you're getting a New Yorkie, get a little thing of honey um, just to help keep their blood sugar regulated. Um, and with Bailey, I still have to watch out for that because she's only two pounds. So you definitely want to keep an eye out if they're getting really lethargic or really tired and it's not usual for them and they're not picking up. It could be their blood sugar is extremely low. Um, oh my gosh, this is besides the point. But I was watching um, a YouTube channel, a Daily Dose of Falsy, and about his jerky dollar. And it just really broke my heart. It was so sad. Dollar passed away. He had progressive kidney failure. And he was only, I believe, two years old. So it was, I mean, I was boo-hoo crying. Like. So it just really, you want to be very mindful of your dog's health. And do the preventative blood work. And see if you can catch these things early. Which I'm sure it's nothing that he could do about progressive kidney fail failure with Dollar. Um, but you know it is always best if and he probably was very much so on top of the vet and keeping your dog healthy so you definitely want to make sure if you're going to get a dog that you're committed to their health and making sure that they stay healthy just like you are committed to your health so that was just my little tip to throw in there okay guys so that's everything that i have on our yorkies 101 part one tips on the yorkie breed and information on the yorkie breeds if you guys have yorkies and you have any tips or comments or suggestions when getting a little precious jerky please feel free to leave those in the comments below i definitely like to thank you for watching those jerkies times three do not forget to like and subscribe and share this channel bye guys Alrighty, so the second thing that we have is to introduce them in a neutral territory you want neither dog to feel threatened or you want everybody just to be comfortable and relaxed so you want to take them to a neutral